with less than 4% of new cars sold last year being manual transmissions, there's no doubt, at least within the United States, that the manual transmission is going bye-bye. 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 It's, you know, young kids nowadays are new, are new drivers. They just aren't driving manual transmissions. It's, you know, not demanded by the market in America. Uh, I was recently at a car show uh, where I overheard a young kid say, Hey, Dad, why does this car have three pedals? Uh, and it really struck me as a you know an interesting topic. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a few reasons why you should reconsider or consider uh, driving a manual transmission. The first reason I would recommend buying a manual transmission car is purely cost. If you compare a manual transmission vehicle to an automatic transmission vehicle, uh, you know same make and model. Almost nine times out of 10, the manual transmission is gonna be less expensive. Now, last year, less than 4% of cars, uh, new cars sold were manual transmission vehicles in the United States, which tells us less and less people year after year are wanting to drive and buy manual transmission vehicles. Uh, so if you're looking at a car on the used market, chances are you can strike a pretty good deal too on a manual transmission vehicle. Uh, kids learning how to drive for the first time aren't buying man manual transmission vehicles. Their parents aren't teaching them how to drive a manual transmission. So people that have owned tr manual transmission vehicles in the past and are now selling them, there's less buyers in the market for them. So your chances of striking a deal on a car with a standard transmission is a lot higher uh, than one with an automatic transmission. Another topic that I have briefly looked into uh, as far as savings for a manual transmission would be insurance costs. Now, I suspect that is because uh, more claims are made on automatic transmission vehicles than manual transmission vehicles, simply due to the fact that there are more of them on the roads. But nonetheless, if you buy a manual transmission, you could save on insurance costs. Another would be repair costs. Generally, and not always, but generally it is cheaper to repair a manual or a problem with a manual transmission vehicle than it would be an auto. An automatic transmission has a computer system and a torque converter uh, combined with the transmission where a manual transmission has just a clutch and some hydraulic parts and not really a computer because you are the computer. So generally, you know, you can repair a manual transmission vehicle if something were to happen cheaper than you can an automatic transmission vehicle. Another reason I would suggest learning to drive a manual or maybe buying a manual for your next car would be gas mileage. With newer cars having economy modes and being you know overall better than they were in the past, this doesn't play as, part, as big of a part as it used to, but if you're looking at a car that's seven to 10 years old, buying a manual transmission vehicle could save you money in gas. You being able to control how much power you're putting to the wheels and when you're shifting, you can engage a higher gear at a lower speed, which burns less gas. So driving a manual transmission, again, if you're looking at a car, a used car that's seven to 10 years old, a manual over a comparable auto may save you in gas money. The third topic I wanted to bring up about driving a manual transmission car is if you like to travel. The rest of the world outside the United States primarily drives manual transmission cars, which is a pretty foreign idea to somebody in the United States. But if you're gonna rent a car in a foreign country, say Italy or France while you're traveling, you might find yourself behind the wheel of a vehicle with a transmission that is uh, manual. So I know, it's, you know, I know you can rent an automatic transmission car uh, abroad, but you know, if something were to happen where you did have to get behind the wheel of a manual in a foreign country, it would definitely benefit you to know how to drive it, especially because you're going to be on foreign roads as it is, which is already going to be a major distraction. Adding that on top of learning how to drive or remembering how to drive a manual transmission is going to be a nightmare. A fourth reason you might consider buying a manual transmission car is you're not going to lend it out to anybody. Uh, if a friend or family member needs to borrow a car for whether it be a shorter extended amount of time, 
generally they're not going to be able to know how to drive it therefore you're not going to be able to lend it out putting less wear and tear in your car now this is kind of controversial and not a reason certainly why i drive a manual transmission but if you you know don't like lending your car out pick up a manual and chances are you won't be asked to uh, use it another reason i suggest looking into buying a manual transmission car is if you live in a climate where there is a frequent amount of snow or uh, low traction driving scenarios, being able to control which gear you are in and how much power you can put to the wheels uh, really helps in low traction driving. As opposed to an automatic that chooses a gear for you, you may be able to get yourself out of a hairy situation or be able to better, better handle a low traction environment with a manual transmission. Another reason you might consider driving a manual transmission car or recommending a manual transmission car for a new driver would be you're less likely to become distracted. You're more likely to, uh, while driving, be using the gear shift or operating the clutch, which gives you less room or less time uh, for playing on your phone or doing other activities besides driving. In an automatic car, you're more likely to kick back, set your uh, cruise control, and coast along you might be on your phone during that time which is more distracting so generally i believe driving a manual transmission car keeps you more engaged with the vehicle and more aware the last reason i recommend learning to drive a manual transmission and the reason i've only owned manual transmission cars is just because i think it's fun uh, if you're into sports cars or want to get into the sport uh, you know a sports car or an older sports car that has a manual transmission you're going to need to know how to drive it obviously uh, but it can be a lot of fun you know it keeps you engaged with the car you really feel like you're one with the car especially in a performance car not so much uh, in my chevy sonic uh, but it's just a great time you know you feel kind of like a you know like a race car driver in a sense um, so if this video helped you at all please feel free to subscribe uh, turn the post notifications on and feel free to leave a comment whether it be uh, about cars in general or your experience learning to drive a manual transmission if you have any other ideas of why you should learn how to drive a manual shoot them down in the comment section below i would love to hear about them thanks